This Week in Astrology video forecast. This is episode number 16 for the week of June 16, 2014. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Benjamin Bernstein of astroshaman.com, coming to you from Asheville, North Carolina. I'm an astrologer, shamanic healer, and awakening activator, and it's my pleasure to bring you these weekly astrology forecasts. What's up for the week of June 16th? Here's the overview. A volatile, engaging T-square peaks this week, and it's energizing too. This dynamic trio of Mars, Uranus, and Pluto remind us that the energies of revolutionary transformation, sparked by April's Cardinal Grand Cross, are still very much with us. This week also features the ingress of the summer solstice, that's the sun entering Cancer, the wounded healer Chiron turning retrograde, and much more. What are the important things that are still continuing from prior weeks? Well, we've got a waning moon. Mercury is retrograde through July 1st. There's a grand trine with great healing energy all the way through June 24th with Jupiter, Chiron, and Saturn. And there's a very intense T-square that we'll be talking a lot about this week, again with Mars, Uranus, and Pluto. So let's move on now to our individual days of the week. There are no major events happening on Monday, June 16th, so we're going to zip right along to Tuesday, June 17th, as Mercury enters Gemini, but it's retrograde, so it's going backwards from Cancer to Gemini, and it's going to stay in Gemini through July 12th, and as I said, it will turn direct on July 1st. The winged messenger is in one of its home signs, and it's radiating the energy of learning and sharing information. It also radiates a love of playfulness, variety, and mischief. <laughs> Next up, we have Juno entering Gemini, uh, coming into Gemini from the other side going forward. Uh, communication, learning, and variety in domestic affairs is supported. Juno's passage through Gemini is going on through August 8th. On Wednesday, June 18, we open with Venus sextile Jupiter. Venus is at 24 Taurus, Jupiter at 24 Cancer. Expand energetically into your creativity and relationships under this aspect. With Venus in Taurus, sensuality and financial increase are also supported. On Thursday, June 19th, we have the Sun quintile Uranus. The Sun's at 28 Gemini. Uranus is at 16 Aries. Inspiration's in the air under this aspect. This is also a good time to embody your authentic, egoic self and catch more intuitive flashes. Next up, the Sun and Mercury are conjunct right around 29 degrees Gemini. This means that learning, communication, and mischievousness are supported as the Sun goes forward and Mercury goes backward and they meet in the middle. Also today, we have our featured event of the week, that T-square with Mars, Uranus, and Pluto. If you don't know, a T-square is a right triangle that has like a, a 90 connected by a 180 in terms of degrees. This T-square started on April 4th and peaks today. Avoid accidents and conflict by exercising extra caution and avoiding dangerously volatile situations. But this aspect pattern is rocket fuel if you're ready for big changes, major breakthroughs, and quantum leaps. <laughs> this T-square is not quite as strong as it was on April 22nd when the Cardinal Grand Cross peaked. Uh, the Cardinal Grand Cross had these three planets plus Jupiter. That iteration of this T-square was exact within a third of a degree, whereas the current one is peaking about three and a half degrees from exactitude. That's what we call the orb between the planets. How close to exact are they in making those right angles to each other and such? But this is still a formidable aspect pattern, and it's riding the momentum of the waning Cardinal Grand Cross. Stability may be elusive as this T-square wraps up its three-month run on July 3rd, but opportunity abounds for the bold. On Friday, June 20th, we have Chiron turning retrograde. It's going to go backwards for over five months until November 23rd. It's going to start at 18 degrees Pisces and go back to about 13 degrees Pisces. This is a good time to reflect on how healing and mentoring are manifesting for you. Life area is represented by natal points between 15 and 21 degrees in your chart in the mutable signs, that's Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces, are more likely to experience some type of wounding in order to stimulate deeper healing opportunities. And I have an invocation that many have found helpful in healing stuff as it comes up. It's called the Healing Invocation, and I should have a link to it right here on the video. If you don't see it, go to astroshaman.com. 
on the home page top of the sidebar, you'll see a purple banner. It says Heal and Awaken Invocations. Click through to that. The page you come to will have several blog posts. Go to the last one. Uh, it's called Your Negative Reactions, Golden Opportunities for Healing and Awakening, and you'll read all about it. We also today have Mercury Quintal Uranus. Mercury is at 28 Gemini. Uranus is at 16 Aries. The interpretation of this aspect, this quintile between Gemini and Mercury and Uranus, is pretty much the same as the one for Thursday's quintile between the Gemini and Sun and Uranus. So, here we go again. Embody your authentic egoic self, catch more intuitive flashes, and feel the inspiration in the air. On Saturday, June 21st, we have the Sun entering Cancer. That's at 6.51 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And this, of course, marks the beginning of the summer solstice. The longest day of the year ushers in the energy of healing, security, and maternal nurturing. I'll be telling you more about the summer solstice chart. We astrologers can run a chart for the beginning of a season, and it kind of talks about the energy of the next three months. And that should be up next week after I post this. Stay tuned. It's also going to be on my audio podcast and uh, on my uh, blog on astroshaman.com. And... Just to uh, close, the Sunday, June 22nd, nothing happening again of consequence. So this wraps up our forecast for this week. Looking ahead to the week of June 23rd, what's going to be new? Well, we have a new moon in Cancer. Mars is going to oppose Uranus. That's a pretty intense one. And Quincunx Chiron. Venus will enter Gemini and square Neptune. The Sun will trine Neptune and Pluto will trine Pallas Athena. I'll tell you all about that on next week if you'll join me on this video forecast. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my Benjamin Bernstein YouTube channel to be notified when I put new videos up. And if you like this video, please share it. This free video forecast is a partner project with iTunes number one astrology podcast on audio form, This Week in Astrology. It's also free. You can get my weekly astrology forecast in writing by subscribing to my free email newsletter at astroshaman.com. Once you're there, you can also link to my Facebook page and Twitter feed where I post daily forecasts. My personal services include astrology, shamanic healing, and awakening activation. All are equally effective in person or long distance. My guarantee makes my services risk-free. If you don't feel that your experience was helpful, there is no charge. I also offer other great products and services, many of which are free. To learn more, visit astroshaman.com. Thank you again for watching. I wish you infinite blessings as the stars light your way.